Yeah, I heard word around town is a popping now. Hey yo, what is up everybody? It's me. I I have made yet another <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. It is the King Hitman here. And as you can see, we are going to take on Super Saiyan, well, just Cumber right now. But um we're taking on Cumber in the Heroes event. I don't know how hard he hits. I don't know how well he defends. I just know we're going into a blind and yes, we are trying the no item attempts. So let's be very very careful here. No. I suppose I really don't want cooler. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't want cooler on this turn. I don't want SCR cooler because my cooler is coming around next turn, so that doesn't make any sense. Janimba, however, is probably going to be very clutch. I expect Super Saiyan Cumber to have some sort of, sort of gimmick or some sort of trick up his sleeve. We'll do that. Cool. All right, bet, bet, bet. I expect Super Saiyan Cumber to have some trick up his sleeve. I did, if you want to see, I did beat the other stages already. I'll probably upload those before now, so check those out if you want to see how to no item all of these fights. I'm not, well, maybe I shouldn't say all, because I can't assume I'm going to no item this Cumber stage, but I did no item the first two runs. If you want to see how I did it, just check it out. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate y'all stopping by anyway. Now, this this content isn't really that insane they toned it down because they know how exclusive there are missions based around doing it with the heroes units and okay all right this is what i'm worried about how much how much it's janemba so yeah he's not gonna take much 77k he stuns cool so if i see that in slot one now i'm aware he does stun he'll probably stun in his uh in the next phase he has more hp than he's letting on like he he has the st smallest starting health bar of any of the characters in this first phase of Heroes' is Red Zone, but it, it looks like even more than it, it seems, if that makes sense. It's misleading. That's what I meant to say. It's misleading. But it's not huge, enormous, right? We'll do... Okay. I do want Janemba to build up. Hmm. I want Janemba and Cooler to build up, and I can't take the risk of having Cooler get stunned, so we're going to do this. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this. This Now, he's disadvantaged, right, in that back slot. It, it's sheesh, man. I'm hoping he's all right. As long as... Cumber doesn't super back there. We're fine. We're fine. STR Cooler's defensive building. He will have type advantage because I'm assuming Super Saiyan Cumber is physical. The the typings have matched the units thus far. So I'm assuming he's going to be physical. It, he, he's going to be fine next turn. STR TUR Cooler. Now, STR LR Cooler is going to obliterate him. Oh, yeah. Oh, this phase is easy. Okay. All right. Bet. Say less. Let's keep building you up, I suppose. Metal Cooler is still an amazing option. Like, if you guys are underrating Metal Cooler, I don't know what to tell you. He is applicable in almost all difficult content. I find him being a staple on my team. He never fails me. So I hope you guys, if you do have him or you do run him as your friend lead, which I don't see too many of them as a friend lead, I hope you guys are enjoying him as much as I am. There are still things I wish we could have added to his offensive repertoire, such as the ability to crit. Oh, man. That's nothing, bro. You can't. Yeah, this hero's red zone is slight. This isn't. This isn't crazy. We'll see what Super Saiyan Cumber has for us. But that's not bad at all. Like I was saying, what was I even talking about? I don't know, man. I just. Be, he's AGL. Oh man, Great Ape Cumber, you dick. And he's an AOE. Okay. Hmm. Three eighty. Uh, so here's the thing. I could transform with TUR Cooler right now, right? Use his active skill. 
but I don't like how low his defense feels, and I need him to stack it up a bit more. If he, literally next turn, if we're if Cumber is still an issue, next time we see Tur Cooler, we will be transforming. I did not expect him to have three phases. I thought he'd only have two phases like the other two did. But let's okay. You know what? This is what I get because I was chatting. I was disrespecting Heroes Red Zone, and now they're probably on my my tail. All right. I mean, listen, he's AGL, so I don't need him lingering around beating up on my STR units. You did a hell of a lot of damage. Thank you. Okay, so he does a super and he does an AoE. Okay, he lowered my attack. Did he lower my defense? I didn't see. I, I only saw the attack icon. We're all right. You know, we're all right. Listen, when STR Cooler does his supers, if he does 112 key, you're, you're usually fine. If he does two... You're not getting touched. And you guys see, he holds up fine in here. Even type disadvantage. So we're all right. No, nothing, really? You don't, you don't really got nothing for us, man. You ain't a threat. You are not a threat, young man. All right. Suppose, what's the worst that can happen if I do this? Really, nothing. Actually, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I was about to say use STR coolers active, but let's, or STR cooler, physical metal coolers active, but that's fine. We're, we'll save it in case Cumber gives us a headache. We'll be I. Oh, he's doing two AoEs. I only noticed the one on the right side. <laughs> I only noticed the one all the way to the right. That's concerning. Please obliterate him. Thank you. My cooler looks like a... He looks soft right now. What's that about? My cooler has a dupe in him. He's not He's not weak. Why does he look so weak offensively? He needs to build up fast. He's not... Thank you. I was about to say, he's, he's not critting at all, so at least do another super. How do you guys feel about this hero's red zone? If you guys want red zones for every celebration, would that be the worst idea in the world? Do you guys think they should look into just making a whole bunch of red zones and treating it with the value that they've treated? Um, I'm scared we're about to die. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. I'll be right back. We're gonna run this back. Hey yo, what is up everybody? It is the King Hitman here, and this is <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done my intro. I probably didn't need to do all that, but this is the King Hitman. We're this is my second attempt on the no item red zone for the Heroes Cumber stage. We're going to just to minimize the damage. I mean, listen, we're not gonna get hurt here, but just to make sure we can minimize the damage. We're running through this. This is my no item attempt. This is my second try. I probably will <laughs> Knowing me, I'll edit the clip in of me failing on the first attempt, and then we'll come right back into this. Where this stage, the AGL phase, really wasn't doing much for me. It's just he had super attacked STR LR cooler, and he didn't have the adequate defense. I didn't build him up the way I should have. I took my time. So the step up in attack power from from Great Ape Cumber, he had overwhelmed me, right? If I had done two or three more attacks, we would have survived that turn, but I didn't get the chance to. All right, now, I do have full confidence that I can no item this, like within three or four tries. I think this try right here will probably be what does it. I'm not tweaking, but it was annoying that I had just got cracked like that. The way he did me was kind of dirty. I can't even front, I can't even front. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's all right. That's all right. All right, we're good. I was worried about what my rotations were going to be, how I wanted to set them, but it's not the worst. I mean, listen, we want to keep Metal Cooler on rotation in case we ever feel like there's a situation where we're going to get cracked, but we're we're not too worried. He is our item, right? Y'all know how he does. His revive is the item. Now, him, he, STR, TUR, Cooler, he has to double super. He has to do two supers here. Please. Yeah, I'm in love with this guy. I needed that. That's exactly what we're going for because he can't lower attack and defense in these heroes stages. He's not going to take much damage. 
he can't lower attack and defense, so it's concerning when he doesn't get his double supers off in the first phase because you don't know when he's going to start start doing two attacks. And I need him to have high defense because later in the fight, which was my initial plan, we're going to transform with him, of course. Okay. Yeah, the difference in defense is crazy. All right, and if push comes to shove, we'll wrap it up right there. I want Cooler to do low damage. So yes, he's that two million attacks. That is pitiful for him. For for him, even though he has two, three, four more, about well, two, three attacks on the way. I need him to do these low attack stats, get him ready, because that was the mistake I made last try. Last, you guys probably won't see the full clip of my last try, but that was the mistake I made. I didn't get him ready, and right, now, wow, he's doing exactly what I would have wanted him to do against Great Ape Cumber. But Great Ape Cumber had supered before he got the chance to do anything. Wow, you are trying to kill something. You're not critting, but you are trying to hurt that man. That is crazy. Beating up on the mentally ill is not the wave, bro. Alright, come on. STR Cooler will wrap up the turn. Nice to see him build up his attack stat, like his uh, super attack effect. When he builds... <laughs> He is still so overwhelming. I can say it all the time, and I'm sure there are people that, that understand what I'm saying, but there's always that minority of Doconners that just don't get how crazy this guy really, really gets. How he really is. Come on, please. Thank you. Did not need that lasting another turn. All right. So we made it through one turn of Great Ape Cumber before. We're going to try again. Okay. 363, 393, 200. Ideally, okay, cool, we did get it. I was about to say, ideally, of course, we want Janemba's support buff to activate, and we did get it. AoE Cumber is really not doing anything for us. He's not hitting hard, but that super he did. Yeah, that's what it did like 393 while lowering my defense. That's what pissed me off. Okay, yeah, so he hits like physical cell max or something. He does not do adequate damage. Yes, yes, I forgot that would even apply right here. I didn't even think it would apply right here, much less forget it. Cool, 7.7. .7. We're glossing through this now. Now we're set. I got everything figured out. STR Final Form Cooler is on his way around. Once he's here, y'all know how he gets. Next turn, I'm going to transform this cooler. He's going to be doing his attacks, beating up on, on, on Cumber. Y'all know how we get, bro. Y'all know how this team gets when the ball gets rolling. Starting off turn one, two, or three, there are other teams that I would say are better than this one. But once you get these guys ramped up, it's overwhelming. There's nobody that's rocking with this, man. It, it's absurd. It's absurd. Cool. How much dodge did I give SD? It must just be three, right? Yeah, just three dodge. But it gaming, I wouldn't say clutch, but it was very helpful. <laughs> it's appreciated. It was very appreciated. How about that? Put Janemba in slot two so that he can build up his passive, right? I. Once we start critting with my, oh, wow, 38k is the most he's done to me by far. He was doing double digits this entire, every AoE he did, he was doing double digits, except, for, oh no, I lied. Because what he did, what my initial try, he supered this cooler before he got to build up his defense fully. And then he did the AoE and he hit Janemba for 39 or 40k. And that's what killed me. That's what murked me. So yeah, I lied. He hit a bit harder before on his AoE. So his AoE can do legitimate damage. It just It's when you're not ready for it. That's all it is. So the heroes units, they, I think they're going to be very defensively uh, you know, prepared for this. I do think once I do my summons, at the time of this recording, I have not done my summons, but once I do do them and I easy A and get my team ready, this heroes team will, should probably stomp out all three of these stages. But <laughs> I'm saying that, but STR, or STR, physical cumber is who I got to keep an eye on. I don't know how good he's going to look. 
yeah, bro, we get it, man. You beat up everybody. You, you, you are not doing anything. You're just wasting your time. That's what you're doing. You're wasting our time. Cool. Let's... I suppose it, it doesn't matter. Once again, it doesn't matter. Legendary power will be active, though, so I'll keep Final Form Cooler in the middle. I bet. And if he's not fully built up, Metal Cooler will be after this. Even though I think he... I'm pretty sure he is. I don't know. Okay, yeah. So he was... He was ready. It's... It, the reason I questioned it is because I feel like once he's fully built up, I don't usually miss attacks with him. But the annoying part with Cooler, which I still think is a flaw in his in his Dokkan design, is that Metal Coolers don't get put on Transformation Boost for some dumb reason. Like, like listen, let me reiterate. I really me reiterate. Coolers that include the core should be on Transformation Boost. But do I think, like, the free-to-play Metal Cooler team should be on there? No. But AGL and physical Metal Cooler should be on that team because the core is actual cooler, right? It's in the super attack effect. So that would make perfect sense. But no, no, no. Akatsuki doesn't want me to be too big of a brain over here. We are going to use their active seals, right? Let's not be goofy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Y'all know how this goes. Y'all know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so he has about 3 million HP per bar. Yes, I play on Mew. I know I'm the scourge of the earth. I am sorry. All right. On my normal account on KX, I don't play on Mew. But on my normal account, when I'm just trying to get these runs done, I do play on Mew. I get it. I'm a terrible person. I got to see how much Cumber does as, a, as an attack stat. His animations look so good. Well, at least, you know, decent. But, oh, this... This... This rage mode is only good for the utility of it. Like, it, that's all I care for. 233 or 263 is, is a lot of damage. Wow. You, you're you not pussy. You, you might hit pretty hard. <laughs> you might just have something for me. <laughs> I, I bet, bet. This animation I love, however. This anime, this ending animation is one of my favorite villain animations in the game. Okay. Y'all know he's staying in slot one. Oh, uh, damn. There's no way for me to get it. Oh, sheesh. It's not world ending. I just wanted to make sure everybody supered, of course. It's fine. We're not going to take damage like enough to kill us anyway. 7.4. He's not like fully ready, right? Like, yeah, his passive is built up, but his 18 keys are very in integral 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 uh <laughs> essential. Let's just use essential. I'm trying to be big brain hit, man. Let me chill. Essential to his offensive output once he is fully built up, like passive wise. So he's really this is a low turn, like a low fight. For, Two fifty one. Oh man, this is one of the lower ends of what you see from SCR Cooler's output. Is what I was saying. Oh my gosh. Okay, beating this with the heroes team is gonna be harder than I thought. Doing two fifty one and he's type disadvantage and he's him. You're doing fifty one to Janemba who has his guard. All right. We're wrapping this up, bro. I don't like you. You are annoying. See, that is a built-up ass cooler. Holy crap, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There goes an all three. No item runs done for the Heroes Red Zone. Very simple. Very straightforward. They hit very hard. They defend very well. I did think Cumber would be able to do a bit more. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But it's whatever. It's the young Hitman. Hitman. Yo, y'all already know I'm off this.